Hi, I am Angel Reba with Mind Dahlia TV, and we are here today with Susan Miller. <laughs> Hi, Susan, how are you? Hello, so happy to be here. Thank you. We are extremely <laughs> thrilled to have you here. Thank you for being with us. So, the first question I would like to ask you is what's that thing that you're most passionate about? About my work and to help people find their own strength through astrology. Astrology is not predestination and it does not take the place of religion. I'm Catholic, I would never do anything that would replace religion. It is the study of mathematical cycles and it shows you when to act and when to hold back and ask questions. It can make you more successful and happier. It's a, it's a great tool. It's not a parlor game. It's not a guessing game, what sign am I, or anything like that. But uh, it really can help you. And is there a specific way to do that, to find that? That well, you said. if you're a lay person and you want to learn astrology, you should be prepared to study 12 years because it takes that long to really understand the fine tuning. There are eight planets plus the sun and moon. And when you're born, it's almost like the fairies surround the, uh, the bassinet and they give you gifts, all of them. Now, some of them give you challenges too, but those make you stronger. And that is your life's path, but you have so much control over the way it goes and how you respond to events. Uh, I study mathematical cycles. So for example, make believe there are 12 people at a party. Oh no, not 12, eight. One for each planet, including Pluto, but then the sun and moon comes in too. They're not planets. Okay. And. I noticed that three are talking over here, two are over here. These two are arguing. They're not agreeing on something. One is looking out the window. I have to make sense every day, every week, every month, every year, how those conversations of the planets will affect you. And so I write a very detailed report on Astrology Zone. I write 36,000 words a month. It takes me seven hours to write each sign, so I can only write two in a day. My friends tell me no telephone calls. I say hello. Oh no, look at the date. I'm, I cannot talk. <laughs> wow. They know I must be, you know, completely alone. I keep the TV on, I watch the news, I keep a little noise or music, but I need to concentrate because I'm writing for so many people and I must be clear. I write for El Pais all through South America and Spain, once a week. It's on their website in Spanish. And also Es Moda, the magazine that goes into the newspaper. Uh, that's my monthly report. Wow. I have the nicest editors, Patricia and Sabrina and Oscar. <laughs> I love them in, in Madrid. <laughs> They're good to me. We've never met, but I hope we will someday. <laughs> wow, that's how, how I've been writing the world for is. years for them, you know, about four, four or five years now. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. So, how would you be able to help me? Okay, well, before we went on camera, you told me you were a Leo. This year, Jupiter, the giver of gifts and luck, is in your house of home. So I'd say, so Angel, do you want to move? Oh, you might say, oh yeah, maybe it's getting a little small. I say, this is the best year in 12 to look for a new apartment, but you only have until November 8th, but that's plenty of time. Now let's say, no, I love my apartment. I do not want to move and I'm in Los Angeles. I'm happy. Well, then you can renovate your kitchen or your bath, or you could just paint or buy new linens get a fine piece of furniture. You can do things on a little scale or a big scale. But even if it's a little scale, I'll give you an example. I always wanted a glass desk for my computer, but it, I don't like little desks. I like big desks. And I want the glass to be thick so nothing would happen to the computer. But my husband was out of work. I had two children. I had them in private school in New York. There was no way I could buy any furniture but I'm in the laundry room in the middle of the night because <laughs> I need so many machines. My daughters think they're in the Four Seasons. And I see a sign for a beautiful desk, just what I wanted for $600 and she'd give me the couch too in my building. 
I still have it. My point is you get lucky. Now, if you're a Leo looking for a space, and the first one isn't big, sunny, with big closets and a view, then I tell you, keep looking. Because when you have this aspect, it's so rare, once every 12 years. You only get eight of these in a lifetime, mm -hmm. if you live to 96. I want you to be fussy, pick the best one, but you will get it. You will get it. Next year, when it leaves, people say, do I turn into a pumpkin? No. <laughs> no, you get the house nice and strong, and you will get big family support too this year. They will, if you want to start a business, maybe they give you a little money or something. They're supporting you. Next, in November, when Jupiter leaves, love. Love and fun and vacations. If you're married or in an established you know, relationship, you will grow closer, you will have more fun. And for girls ask me, well, can I have a baby? That would be the best year to have a baby. Or if I you already have, have children, you will hear something about at least one of them to make you proud. I will have to talk to my wife again. Yes, <laughs> I will tell you your children. So, um, well, thank you. I mean, it, for me, it's amazing to hear that you know all those things. Just and it's about your personal life right now that's going to be enriched. We, we find in astrology that there is balance in the universe. There are times when our career is very strong and the home life Oh, we don't have time to move or buy new furniture. You know, there is balance. Everything will come. How are you able to know this? Oh, that's a good question. Out of your memory. <laughs> is it experience? Oh, is, no. it math is it the statistics? What is it? No, NASA gives us the position of the planets. It's called an ephemeris. But many companies publish a ephemeris. Some have different time zones attached to them when the planets move into a different degree. Um, it just and it also depends on the font you like you know which is easier to read but uh, you study a long time and you go back to Mesopotamia and the Babylon, uh, Babylonians sorry Babylonians and uh, 2500 BC and the Romans and the Greeks added a great deal to the study of astrology and especially the Greek astrologers and the mathematicians and then you have uh, the Persians who developed the decimal point that made astrology even more accurate. You know, in the old days, they had sundials. Uh -huh. You know, an astrologer will always ask you, what time were you born? And, and somebody might say, oh, about 7 o'clock. No, we need to the minute, you know, 7.04. And what city you're born in? And you say, why? We have to convert everybody to Greenwich Mean Time, England. Is it possible to track um, the uh, accuracy of your predictions? Yes, because I write s in such detail. Yes, I mean, you just look at the end of every month. <laughs> I have my summaries. And, uh, but remember, it's not predestination. I could say this is the best year to get a new job, which is true for Aquarius, but if they don't leave the house, <laughs> and write a resume and get on the phone, nothing will happen. During the election, producers say, who's going to win? I say, we must vote. I don't know. I have no idea. They say, oh. I say, I can tell you the talents of Mr. Trump, the talents of Mrs. Clinton. You will hire the new president. You must decide which is more important to you. But there is no predestination. When someone is really, let's say, hopeless, yeah, in a hard and, and spot, they're looking, yeah. and they're looking for responses, they're looking for, okay, so what should I do? There's you know, infinite possibilities, but you know, what should be the best path I'm, for I'm me very, to follow? I'm very specific. I believe everyone should have their horoscope done, their chart for birth. Many people don't know what career they should follow, especially if they're young in college, they're torn between what to major in. The rising sign, the sign on the eastern horizon as you're being born, dictates the profession. Now maybe you have Sagittarius there, maybe you have uh, Aquarius there because you're in the news business, or Gemini, you know, so uh, could even be Virgo, but that's more like editing. 
I can suggest areas. It's amazing what astrology can tell me. I once met a woman. She said, I write teenage novels. I said, oh, oh good, because they need books too. I'm looking at the chart. I said, you have a chance to be optioned for a movie. So she's about, you know, for one of the books. So she opens her mouth like she's going to talk. I said, wait, two books. This is crazy. I've never seen that before. Two books could be options for a movie. She started to laugh. She said, that happened last week. I've never had that happen. But I'm amazed always how the chart reveals so much. But my mother taught me astrology. I always referred to her as little mom because she was small. She said, you must study 12 years or I, not, I will not begin. You have to look at all the planets. Like when I write my calendar, I might see a perfect day to sign a contract. Jupiter conjunct Mercury. You can't get any better than that. But then, oh no, on the same day, Mercury is opposition uh, Neptune, which would make all the details fuzzy. I say to my readers, I cannot recommend this day to you. I am sorry. I will get you more days. We will look further. But I was very, very sick when I was born with a birth defect. The doctors couldn't figure it out. And they even accused me of making it up. You don't want to go to school. And I would be in bed a lot. I grew up in hospitals. And nobody trusted me or believed me except my parents. I always believe you need a good advocate for parents. I had the best parents. But my mother doing the chart says, Susie, when you are 14, it will go away. You won't have it anymore. And then, Mama, I don't think so. I mean, this looks like it. Because I would be sick for six weeks at a time in agony with my left leg. When I was 13 and 11 months and two weeks, I got the attack of my life. They had to take me to the hospital in an ambulance because I lived in a walk-up, two flights, in Manhattan. And the doctor said, and he was a very famous doctor. I had a better doctor. He didn't yell at me. He was nice. He said, we do tests for a full week. He said, I can't, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's bone. I said, no, it's like chocolate syrup, thick, like chocolate syrup, not bone, definitely not bone. He said, no, it's cartilage, it's fine. I was bleeding internally at a horrific rate. Blood and chocolate syrup, very similar. I was in the hospital one year. They had to paralyze me, and I had a drop foot and no feeling. I had to give up high school and do homeschool. The Board of Education helps kids who are home. You take the test at home. And then I went to New York University College. I was okay by then. But during that period, I still prayed to my saints and St. Jude, but I wanted to know, would I ever walk again? And my mother still didn't want to teach me, but I wrote to a magazine editor-in-chief of a horoscope magazine. I said, will I ever walk again without the big brace and the crutches? And my mother came in the living room and said, did you write to horoscope magazine? said, I did. How do you know? But that was seven months ago. They never answered me. She said, you're in the latest issue. <laughs> it's not your name, but it's your birthday. It's your problem. And the lady thought I would walk again. But when you ask a question to an astrologer, it's not yes or no. Great family support. Lives in a big city where there's good facilities. Good attitude of the patient. Distinguished doctors. Jupiter in the house of health all these things you put the puzzle together i said to my mother that lady used words i don't understand you must teach me now she says you have your answer i looked at her she said oh no you want to you want to check the editor-in-chief i'm like yes <laughs> <laughs> she said you're impossible all right i teach you <laughs> but i must always be in the room what a beautiful story yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> we are at the end of our conversation and I would oh, definitely okay. like to, to uh, you know, uh, uh, ask you if you were so kind to suggest our audience, these millions of viewers we have all over the world, wow. you know, something that you think that's going to resonate with all of them regardless of I their beliefs. I could go beliefs. very quickly. Okay, excellent. Aries, it's a year 
Aries, it's a year all about money, chunks of money based on performance, like commission or royalty, something like that, or bonus. Taurus, it's all about marriage. You're the sign most likely to get married, or if you're already married, your partner will do well and you both have more fun together, grow closer, and take one long trip. If you're not getting married, you could do a wonderful business partnership. Gemini, it's all about radiant health. If you've had something that bothers you and they say, oh, we can't fix it, try again. Get a second opinion. This is the year of wonderful health and feeling better and glowing. Also, work projects will keep coming to you. If you're self-employed, this is great. Cancer, you won the jackpot. Best year ever to fall in love. Now, if you say, wait a minute, I'm already in love. Great year to have a baby, because same house. If you say, wait a minute, I don't, I'm not ready to have children. I don't want to fall in love, I just broke up. Then it is for creativity, and you will blossom, and you will be applauded for your work. Leo, you know, is real estate, housing, wonderful area for Leo. Virgo, this is the year to get your book published, or to get your podcast on, on the air. <laughs> you could be a radio host or a TV host, start writing for magazines. It's a wonderful year to have your voice recognized. Libra, it's all about being paid generously. For years you've been complaining, oh, I'm not getting what I deserve. This is the year you're going to get paid well and you're probably, if you're a girl, you're going to buy a designer handbag and if you're a guy, you're gonna buy a car. <laughs> you're gonna have the money to do it. Uh, the next sign is Scorpio. They are the celestial favorite. They are getting the cornucopia. Every year one sign is the favorite wears the crown. Girl or guy, you get everything you want. Job opportunities, health, travel. Always travel is involved, long distance, overseas. Even if you say, I can't afford it, something happens, your boss gives you a ticket, or you win it on a game show, something happens. This is a wonderful year to plant the seeds for your next 12 year cycle. Sagittarius, I hope you listen to that, because you're next. But in order to enjoy all the benefits of the universe, you must clear the basket. Take things out that are no longer enjoyable to you, or that you feel you're not growing anymore. It's time for something new. Because come November, you will become the celestial favorite, and it will last until December 2nd, 2019. Then you have Capricorn, it's all about friendships. Capricorn likes to work, they like to stay at the office late and they'll say, oh, I don't have time for that. Yes, you do, because through your friends you will get ideas, you will make more friends, and you will grow. Your greatest personal growth will come through working, through clubs, through friendships, through charities, and you will make your name that way. Aquarius, this is your year your best career year ever in 12 years. You haven't had a year like this since the end of 2005 to 2006. And go for the gold, go for the corner office. You, can, you are a leader and now you will be applauded for your work. And then Pisces is the last sign. It's all the golden nuggets lie with foreign people, foreign places, also with universities in the college market, or if you wanna defend your thesis, this is the best year to do it and also publishing and broadcasting opportunities are spectacular. So that's the 12 signs. They should, you know, you might have other goals, but keep the one I gave you in mind because it will be easy for you to achieve. Excellent. <laughs> what, a, what a wealth of experience and of wisdom, Susan. <laughs> I'm you. over, ma'am. Thank you, thank you very much. It's oh, been a pleasure you. to have you here, really. Thank nice you. Nice to know you. <laughs> Absolutely. Again, <clears throat> this is Angel Rebel with Mindalia TV. Thank you very much for being with us today.